Okay, so this was a horrible training day, which I will discuss later in the video. But looking back at these snatch grip deadlifts, I'm borderline like cringing here now. I pride myself in always wanting to improve, be a student of the sport, and lift with good form. With deadlifts, I usually get into a much better position than this, even under heavier load. But looking back at this here now, honestly, I don't know what happened today. Just was not a good day at all. So now that I'm finished lunch, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how week four has been going so far with the Candido program. So it started off a little bit sketchy for sure. Um, between a full day of travel and fasting for some blood work I had to get done, uh, day one was, I did not feel the best on day one. After the first set with 390 for three, even there I could tell that this is not going to be a good day. I only got two reps with 400 pounds, but then to kind of make up for it, I did 405 then for a single. After that session, lower back pumps. I never hurt myself or anything, but just being so tight and weak, it, it was a grind. It really, really was. Day two now is tomorrow. I'm out on a beautiful hike today just to try to get, get some moving going and just kind of loosen up. So I'm feeling a lot better now. That was, today is Friday and day two was on a Wednesday and I traveled all day on Monday and then on, I had to fast Monday night for Tuesday so I think day two is going to go a lot better uh, day two I got to work up to 400 pounds for a triple on squat and then 420 pounds for one to two reps can't remember what deadlift is but uh, you'll see that in the video so anyway I'm hoping day two goes a lot better I feel I'm feeling confident well it will uh, stay tuned Okay, so I just got to the gym. It is week four, day two of Johnny Candido's six-week strength training program. 
I got to say, I'm going into this here today not in a very good mind state at all. Today is Sunday. On Friday, when I was out for a hike, I was talking about how on day one, which was on Wednesday, I uh, never really had a very good session. Ironically, I was out for a hike on Friday, just trying to stretch things out, you know, get, get moving, kind of feel better. And what happens? I did something to my knee. I don't know what, but later that night I was at the gym benching and I started to feel about halfway through my workout. So my hips and back and everything feel fine now. They're great, but I do this on Friday and look what happens. So uh, it's in the back of the knee. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's probably like maybe that hamstring or maybe a little muscle or ligament right behind the kneecap. It doesn't like it when I when I walk and when I extend, when I step forward, it's a lot better today than it was yesterday. I was actually supposed to do week, uh, day two, sorry, of week four yesterday, but I just had to rest my knee all day. It did not like me walking. Today, it's a lot better. It's still there, but it is improved. Um, yesterday, I was doing like body weight squats and it felt fine. Like squats doesn't it doesn't seem like squats bother it at all, but I got some pretty heavy squats and deadlifts today, so I don't know what to expect. I got to work up to 400 pounds for a triple, and then 420 pounds for one to two reps on squat. Then on deadlift, I got to do 465 pounds for a triple, and then 485 pounds for one to two reps. So I don't know what to expect. I could go in there and I could have a plate on squat and be like, nope, can't do this or I can, I might end up getting through just fine. I really don't know. I will listen to my body. If something doesn't feel right, I'm not gonna continue because I don't wanna snap my shit up. Anyway, wish me luck. I'll see you there.
I gotta say that went that went really well considering I went in there with uh, my knee a little tweaked from I think it was from uh, the hike I did on Friday when I got up to three plates and a 35 385 pounds which was my last warm-up uh, based on how that moved I said okay yeah I know I got this squats were not interfering with my knee whatsoever wasn't having any issues so after how well that 385 moved I put on 400 got my triple moved a lot better than any of my triples did on day one and then I did 420 pounds for a good clean single deadlifts uh, it wasn't really hurting my knee per se but it didn't like it like when I tried to get into position and just lock everything up trying to get that posterior chain really tight it I felt it a little bit, so my knee didn't like deadlifts quite as much. All things considered, like I'm, I am happy with it. I'm supposed to work up to 465 pounds for a triple. First rep went up. Second rep, I came like halfway up and I couldn't lock it. I was actually having grip issues with my left hand. Um, so then I reset and then um, I got my third attempt. And then with 485 pounds, I was supposed to do one to two reps. Anyway, got in, got into position, came off the ground just a little bit, but then again, I had, I don't know what happened, got it, fell out of position, grip, I don't know, um, so then I said, okay, this, this is not happening, I'm getting at least one rep here, so anyway, I reset, got back into position, and then that came up, so again, all, all things considered, I'm happy with that, um, I would say, strength-wise, my deadlift has been feeling the strongest, so I know that today, that's just that's just something stupid. Um, next week, week five on squat, I got to work up to 430 pounds for one to four reps. And then on deadlift, I got to do five plates, 495 pounds for one to four reps. Of course, they're going to be done on separate days, unlike all the other uh, lower body days uh, during this program. Today is Sunday, so I'm probably going to take like a nice three days off and go in for my squat on Thursday, and then on Sunday, I'll go in for my deadlift. We'll see. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. Stay tuned. Later.